Let's see. Happy 2020 to everybody. Um, you know, it's a new year, new decade. So let's get it popping with my top 10 fragrances uh, for winter 2020. So let's just hop right into it. Uh, let's go with number 10 spot. Great, great amber fragrance is Frank Olivier. Amber. Nice, cheapy. Doesn't smell cheap at all. I think I got this bottle for like 20 bucks online. All our discounters. Um, you know, nice bottle. Uh, the scent is even better. Frank Olivier Amber. Uh, great winter scent. Uh, six to eight hours longevity. Oh, man. Great stuff. Projects for about two or three hours. Strong projection, beast mode. Great stuff. Frank Olivier Amber, number 10. A number nine spot. A much hyped fragrance. I think it's okay. I like it. Yeah. Um, don't pay more than let's say eighty bucks for this thing. I got it back uh, in the summertime. I think I paid sixty four. It comes and goes. And this is number nine spot. This is from the house of Ismiyaki. It's called Nuita Se. Pulse of the night. This reminds me a lot of Solid Twenty Five Gamma Womo. You know, you know about that scent, uh, just a more uh, higher quality version of that scent. Uh, great longevity. I actually sprayed some of my wrist a little while ago, testing a couple. I mean, great longevity. It's 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 a good scent. Um, I don't think it's the, it's that special. I don't. I mean, I have a lot, a lot of scents that they do the same thing. Uh, you know, a little, little booziness, uh, a little nuttiness. Uh, great for a night out, you know, blue, blue black peacoat, uh, you know, on a Saturday night type deal, so... Banging scent, pretty good at number nine. That's uh, from the house of uh, East Miyake. It's the Nui de Se Postla of the night. Recent hype, hype mobile, that fragrance. So, number eight spot, uh, we're gonna go with House of Terry Mugler. This is Pure Tonka. Um, yeah, I have four of the Pure, the pure of, out of the Pure line. I have Tonka, Crypto Mint, Pure Von, and Pure Malt. Uh, probably Pure Malt would have gone into this category, but um, I rediscovered Pure Talk. Actually, I got Pure Talk before I got Pure Malt, and I started wearing it again heavy, um, you know, back around, uh, you know, right before Thanksgiving time. And this stuff sticks with you like a second skin. So thick and sweet, syrupy, uh, you know, stays with you. I, I easily get 10 to 12 hours out of this. I think this is the best project and the best last lasting fragrance of the pure line, or at least the purists that I have. There's probably more than a dozen at this point with pure taste and pure coffee and all this other pure uh, out of the, the Terry Mugler line. But to, in my opinion, uh, this is the best for winter time. Uh, this is pure Tonka from the house of Terry Mugler. Number seven spot for the house of Yves Saint Laurent, excuse me, EDT. This is op opium, the EDT version. All right, old school, nice masculine. 90s vibe, very nice with that black currant spiciness in there. I think, think there's some uh, uh, cardamom in there, a uh, little um, cardamom, a little um, uh, cumin, you know, uh, note in there. Nice, sweet black currant up top. Um, it's a great scent, and it's old school from the 90s. Has that nice, uh, you know, you can't stop smelling it. Once you start smelling, and, and you know that's that's what the name implies. It's very narcotic uh, type effect and type scent. So, for the house of YSL, this is opium the EDT. Now let's go for number six. Number six spot. You know this scent is not for little dudes out there. This is from the house of Tom Ford. This is Tom Ford Noir Anthracite. Right, cool mirror type. Uh, you know T and F two. Cool mirror type bottle. Uh, it's this print magnet. The scent inside is great. And this is Tom Ford's interpretation of a 80s barbershop powerhouse scent. This smells to me a lot like another scent that I have uh, that's from the 80s, 80s barbershop, uh, uh, Santos de Cartier. So I put a little more modern twist on it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely um, just a it's a high high designer ninety um, you know old school barbershop interpretation. It's uh, deep, dense. Um, you know, like I said, it's it's, it's it's Tom Ford's version of a high end barbershop to me. That's how best I can describe describe smelling. It's deep, 
You know, you got you got to be dressed up for this. You got at least you have to at least have on a smoking jacket or a blazer wearing this. This is not a t-shirt and Nikes type of type of set. So, from the house of Tom Ford, this is Tom Ford Noir Anthracite. Another set that's similar to, 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 to this one and cheaper is from um, Michael Kors called Extreme Speed. I like that one a lot. And um, you know, I've seen it, you can get a discount as the company goes. Next time it pops up, I'm definitely, definitely going to cop it. But you know, since I have this, um, you know, I haven't felt the need to get it. But you know, next time I see it, I'll definitely get it because I don't want to use my good juice. And that one is more uh, Michael Kors Extreme Speed is, is a lot more versatile than, than uh, the Tom Ford Noir, that's like my opinion. So let's go to number five. Now we're moving to the top five. For the house of Paco Rabanne, this is the original one million. Great scent. Something I rediscovered, um, you know, around the end of, uh, uh, you know, around the end of fall type season. You know, I started wearing it again. You know, you can't, you can't go wrong with the original. Not bubblegumish. To me, it's like a big red cinnamon type gum vibe in this one with the blood orange. Great scent. Classic. Can't go wrong with it. Original, one million with House of Pocket Rabanne. That's the gold bar. All right. Number four, for the House of Prada. This is Prada, Luna Rosa Extreme. This actually is discontinued now at this point, but it's, um, you know, this is before uh, Luna Rosa Black came out. This was the sweetest of the Luna Rosa line. Um, you know, uh, sweet, heavy, uh, soapy. Still with that soapy, clean vibe that Prada's known for, what I love Prada for. Uh, discontinue if you find it. It's a great scent, great pickup. If you see it around, definitely cop it. Uh, you know, this, this, is a, this is a great scent. It's very versatile, too. So from the house of Prada, this is Prada Luna Rosa Extreme. Number three spot from the house of YSL. This is M7 Oud Absolute. Great scent. This has that cherry cough uh, syrup type oodiness uh, vibe going on with the myrrh and the resin resinous qualities to it. Uh, you know, this is the accessible or as far as being able to buy it version of uh, M7 uh, when Tom Ford was the original perfumer, perfumer perfume over at uh, Yves Saint Laurent. So uh, definitely now it's, it's uh, you know, definitely a great pickup. I think I paid like 50 bucks for this. Um, and it's, uh, last I checked it was really available, but Price might be going up as as this grows in popularity. So, I've had it for about two years, uh, and it's a great scent. Number three stuff, spot, for the house of YSL is M7 Oud Absolute. Now, number two spot. Oh man, I love this one. This is from the house of Aqua de Parma. It's called Sandolo, the house of Aqua de Parma. This is my favorite of the Aqua de Parma. Um, Look what I have out of Aqua de Palma. I have this, our Colonial Club, and I have a Senza. This is by far my favorite one. I mean, this, it, it performed, it, it's, a, it's Eau de Cologne Concentre. Um, it performs like nobody's business. I mean, I, I can spray five sprays of this on nine o'clock in the morning, and by, you know, it's eight, nine o'clock at night, I'm still getting whiffs of it. This is just a, the beast mode of Aqua de Palma sense. Um, you know, Sandalo is, is, is great. It's a sweet, just like the name implies, Sandalo, Italian for sandalwood. Sweet, um, resinous, and soapy, clean, which Aqua de Palma is known for. All in this little little bottle right here. This is this is just greatness. That's why I have the, the number two spot because, you know, it, it's definitely up there. I, I've had it for um, maybe like the last, uh, you know, four or five months. I've been wearing it, wearing the hell out of it. Probably, I'm probably about, uh, you know, a third of the bottle, all the way through the bottle. And I have over a hundred something bottles, so that just shows you how much I use this. It's very versatile too. It's office friendly. Um, for the House of Aqua de Palma, it's a Sandolo. Great pickup. And my number one scent for the winter of 2020 for the House of Bulgari. This is Black Orient. Bulgari, Bulgari Man, Black Orient. This is often slept on. But in my opinion, this is the best, best, best of the Bulgari uh, Man in Black line. I mean, you can't beat the, the booziness in this. I mean, the, con the cognac um, that's in this, uh, the, the, the deep, dark, resinous incense that's in this. Just a freaking phenomenal scent. And like I said, this, this performs, performs greatly. I get six to eight hours on it. 
projects for about two two hours on it. Always get compliments when I wear this. Great scent, great pickup. My number one for winter 2020. This is a Bulgari Man Black Orient. All right, Fragrance Fiends Amelia, thank you for all your support. I see the numbers are growing. Um, please like, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you. Take care.